Yeah, Andre Smith, German Page, his assistant, and of course Omar Hines, the fourth official. Charlie Smith and their starting lineup sees Deontay Gary in goal. Uh, Kevon Gale, Reese Clayton, Trevon Lowe are part of the back line. Stephen Emmanuel, Michael Smith, Kevin Richards, and Jamodi Duane in the middle of the pack. And up top, Daniel Clark and DeAnthony uh, Stevenson on the wings, supporting their striker, Raekwon Stoney. He scored three goals so far. 3-4-3, three, three, the regular Charlie Smith formation. It will be no different today. Stoney with three goals, Pringle with two. And they look to rectify that blank that they recorded against Calabar. Malik Williams, of course, is between the sticks for Kingston College. Rajay, Rajay Ziminis, Robert Siao, O'Neill Bryan, and Kamal Patterson, the back four in the middle of the park. Dejon Green has been asked to play in the holding role for KC. Kajay Fletcher and Jaheem McLean will join him in the middle of the park. In the middle of the park. Alex Hislop on the left with four goals to his name so far. The 13-year-old Kelvin Brown, uh, who scored a wonder goal in that last televised matchup, uh, is on the right-hand side. Deshaun Bay field of course is the center forward and uh, we're looking to see Kingston College playing some attractive football again this afternoon. Well Brown was actually runner up his goal in terms of goal of the week. 4-3-3 is what KC will play. Driving forward into the air was Casey and Kevin Brown. Instinctive kind of finish. Back heel, ball was behind him. Brilliant attempt. Well blocked by Charlie Smith. Deshaun Byfield on the left hand side, getting that ball into the area. Then Charlie Smith had to bet up the first half in and around that 18 yard area, but just couldn't really create a lot of opportunities. This is the best of them. And Tony trying to get in almost, but Williams did well, strong enough. And it was cleared by the man of the match, Brian, in the right place at the right time in that first half. Then this scenario, the best for Kingston College in the first half. Miss kick, falling to Brown, should have done better, Brown. But Gary off the line in time. No to the second half, Kingston College into the area. Chance for Brown, can't find the back of the net. Went near post, probably should have gone to the far post where there was more space for him. And luckily, Charlie Smith got away. Then, Charlie Smith, their best attempt, this after the resumption, and hit it straight to the goalkeeper. Disappointing from a Charlie Smith perspective, Gale. Then, Casey, coming into the air, just look at that. Wow, a real blooper for Deontay Gary. Very unfortunate for the Charlie Smith goalkeeper. Slippery fingers, but Byfield was there, stayed alert, Byfield, and had the important touch to put it into the back of the net. KC 1-0 to the good. They had another really good opportunity. It fell to Byfield yet again. Asked similar questions of him, but this time couldn't keep it between the frame and a missed opportunity wide of the mark to Sean Byfield. That would have sealed it. In the end, KC didn't need it. Then nice 1-2 play down the left-hand side of the attack into the area. And look at this save coming from Gary. Lovely, two-handed, better than his previous attempt, and forcing it out for a corner. The strike coming in from Kajay Fletcher, and he has still feeling it was Gary, upset about his mistake. Casey getting in, and another chance, yeah, wow. And Charlie Smith not adapting to the conditions very well, the wet surfaces after the resumption, and lots of opportunities. 1-0 KC, big result. Seven shots on target from 13 attempts for Charlie Smith, but couldn't get a goal today. Four on target from 15 attempts from KC, and the all-important one goal. There was one yellow card each, shown by Carvel Banton, the referee. Four corners for Charlie Smith, and they only had 45% of the possession. Majority of the possession for Kingston College, and they made the most of it. An important win to confirm their position at top of the table. 15 points from five games, 1-0 KC after 90 minutes. Let's hear from our man of the match who is with Janae. No more 
Dan O'Neill Bryan. Congratulations, O'Neill. You are the model of the match for today. Well, O'Neill, the last time I saw you was at the Heidel match. You got a red card, but now you're getting the man of the match award trophy. How does it feel? Well, it's a great feeling. You know that I, came, I sit out the game and come back after, play a great game today again. As, as, as our coach always tells us, to stay focused and go out there and do our best and we get the result. Well, defensively, you did play well on the pitch today, but considering the circumstances, the weather, the lightning, you guys were in the bus for a bit. How did that affect you today? Well, um, it not not negatively, because when we go in the bus, we try to build our vibes. You know, say, if we come out back out here, we're going to just do what we have to do and get the three points. Okay. And talk about your team. You guys are on the top of the table, and you guys have another three points today. How does it feel? Well, it's a great feeling, you know, it's an advantage to go forward. So we have to just keep up the good work and do our best thing. Well, congratulations on you. Thank you. And now we have a chance to talk to the head coach of Kingston College, no other than Mr. Vassar Reynolds. Coach, we saw the weather conditions today and the stoppages in the game. How did, affect, how did that affect you and more so your boys? And how did you keep them motivated during that break? Um, at one time we figured that that was it in terms of the game, but um, as soon as we got the news that there's a, there was a possibility, um, we asked the players to shift the mindset a, a little bit. Um, and what we came out here and do after and did after the, the break, it, it, it indicated that we were pretty ready for the, for the restart of the game. Well, coach, you did talk about the development of these boys and that it's a young squad. So you got the win today, but how are you going to keep this team from um, not being complacent for the rest of the season? No, we, we, we continue to, 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 to our rebuilding process. Um, we don't want to get ahead of ourselves. Um, we take it as it's come. What, one thing that we'll be doing is treat each game as it comes. So it's a, we continue to develop and we continue to improve match after match, after match and that's, that's, that's the focus for the remainder of this round. Okay, coach, you talk about treating the games as they come. So what does this game mean for you today, the win? It meant a lot. Um, it, mean, it meant that we would have, um, you know, uh, accumulate <laughs> a, 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 some points at the end of the, at the, at the group, uh, which is what we wanted to do today, bearing in mind that the Idol and the Calabar match, which should have been played, somebody would, would, would drop some points. So we had that in mind, and, um, and hence we are pretty, pretty, pretty satisfied with, with the result today. Okay, so coach, thank you. You're welcome.